Hi, I'm Christine. Hi, I'm Shahina. Hello everyone, I'm Crystal Basagas. Hey, what's up you guys? This is Trisha. Welcome, this is Adrian Kabe. Today's vlog is all about the different optical phenomena. And here are 5 facts about reflection. Fact number 1. Reflection came from the Latin word reflectere, made up of the prefix re, which means back, and flectere, which means to bend. Hence, reflection is the bouncing back of light when it hits a boundary of another medium. Fact number two, there are two types of reflection, the specular reflection and the diffuse reflection. In a specular reflection, the surface is extremely smooth, thus the image that is formed by the reflection is sharp and clear. Whereas in a diffuse reflection, the surface is slightly rough or bumpy, therefore it may not form an image or when it does, the image may be fuzzy or blurry. Number 3. The law of reflection states that the angle at which the reflected rays leave the surface is equal to the angle at which the incident rays hit the surface. Act number 4. A more interesting reflection is found in a concave mirror. When you look at yourself in it, your reflection will appear to be upside down. This is because the light is bent inward and it crosses over itself. Fact number 5. The only way that we can see an object that does not emit light is when that object reflects light. Here to tell you 5 facts about light transmission and absorption. 1. The color of the objects we see is determined by how those objects interact with light, and as a result, reflect and transmit it to our eyes. The color of the object is not actually contained within the object. The color, rather, is in the light that shines on it and eventually is transmitted into our eyes. Number 2. Light transmission happens when light passes through the medium without being reflected or being absorbed. Just like in transparent materials where light is not being absorbed, that is why light just passes through the medium. Number 3. Light absorption is a process where light is absorbed and is turned into energy. For example, grass appears green in white light. Red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, and violet are being absorbed by the grass. Green light is reflected by the grass and it is detected by our eyes. Number 4. The thickness of materials affects the transmission and absorption of light. It's easier to transmit light in thinner materials and thicker materials absorbs light more. Number 5. This is how light transmission and absorption works. When you place a transparent object in front of the light, it only passes through and light is still visible. But when you place an opaque or thick object, it absorbs the light to the point that it can block it. I will be giving you 5 facts about mirage. First fact, the word mirage comes from the Latin word mirare which means to look at or to want. Second fact, a mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs when the light is bent via refraction to produce displaced image of a distant object or disguise. Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Now let's proceed to our third fact. Did you know that everyone seems to believe that a mirage is just an illusion. But no, a mirage is not just an illusion, but an optical illusion that can be explained by the physics of the Earth's atmosphere. I wonder, can mirage be photographed? And that leads us to our fourth fact. Yes, a mirage can be photographed. It may be just an optical illusion, but it can be seen and photographed whenever the land is heated up and the air is cooler. And we are down to our fifth Final fact, mirage is caused due to total internal reflection of light. It is an example that occurs to atmosphere refraction. Next, we are going to talk about halos and sun dogs. Here are the five facts. In the sky under the right condition, water droplets or ice crystal act as a prism in the sky. As light passes through the water or ice, 
on high clouds, it is refracted 22 degrees from its original direction and creates halos and sun dogs on the moon or sun. Did you know a halo is a ring of light that forms around the moon or sun? When the sun is seen at 20 degrees, a halo can be observed. Second, it is believed that hexagonal ice crystals with diameter of less than 20.5 micrometers are responsible for halos. Have you heard of a sun dog? It sounds like a cool rock band but is actually a member of a halo family. For the third fact, sun dog is also called the mock sun or porhelia, a Greek word meaning beside the sun. Usually 22 degrees from the left or right of the sun. Sun dogs are usually produced by plate crystals high in cirrus cloud. These drift and float gently down lowered with their large hexagonal faces almost horizontal. Fourth, the blue light is more refracted than red light. That is why blue light is seen at the outer edges of a sun dogs. The term sun dogs is based on the speculation that they seem to follow the sun like dogs, like following their master. Cool, right? Hi guys, so today I'll be giving five facts about rainbows. Did you know that the term rainbow came from the old English word and boga, which is a combination of the words ren, which means rain, and boga, which means So that's it guys, I hope you learned something.